Alright, what is up everybody? It's ADP95 and I'm with Caster today. Hello. For a little recap of what is happening in both groups actually. So, uh, just before we go, we get into what's happening, we're just uh, having a little game of ours here. Uh, before we go into what's happening in each group, I would like to uh, announce two things. Uh, first, that uh, the uploads for week seven will be a little slower because um oh, sh oh god uh because we want to uh, upload the games only when every single one has been played so that they don't the results don't influence each other and the second thing is that uh, before i ex we explain like i'm um, actually we're not going to explain we're just putting it on the screen because it's too complicated to explain. We're just gonna explain how the tie-breaking system works. It's just, um, if two players are tied on points, we go to see the map difference. And if they're still tied, um, we just organize an, a new match between these two to decide who is ahead. The only exception to that rule is that we, if we have a three or four-way tie, um, we use pig difference, which nobody li likes, to uh, reduce that group to two, and then we have the tiebreaker match. Okay, that's it. So, uh, starting with group A, we of course have... Oh god, what, what, what is happening right now on the screen? I don't know. Yeah, j just keep playing, don't worry about it. <laughs> starting with group A, of course we have me... Uh, ADP95 in front, uh, and already I'm already sure of first place. Thank God I don't have to pressure myself for week seven as well. And we have Machatino and Herp Derp, uh, unfortunately already out. So I can speak for Machatino. Like it was a very tiring season for him. He was half considering not playing at all, even at the beginning. But uh, he still got four points, so that's not too bad. And, uh, you know, Herbert kind of told me the same thing a little bit at some point. He's like, I'm, I'm not I'm not good enough. I shouldn't play next year. I was like, no, that's not true. Yeah, I still, I still think Herbert would be good enough, uh, definitely. But, of course, he kind of struggles oh, no. uh, with the input delay and everything. I mean, he's by far the person who's furthest away from us. So, yeah. Although netplay has improved, has uh, helped a lot this year. Yeah, well, it's still not not perfect for him in any in any means. All right. So we, while we yeah. trank with each other uh, to the death, we're gonna move to Angurio. Oh my! Angurio is currently sitting at nine points. He's got a plus three map score. That's pretty good. And uh, he's actually one of like, if not the player that will most likely go through although he as you can see on the screen right now he has a, a couple of actually no no, no. I, fr I tranquilized a guy that was already tranquilized <laughs> so you know Angurio is kind of like the player that uh, when he's in a good day he almost is unplayable yeah that is too but is is bigger is bigger thing for me is that he um, struggles to keep his focus at the highest level until the very end. But he's a pretty fearful, fearsome actually, uh, player, so we probably will see him in the playoffs. Yeah, and most likely. Yeah, and he's playing Agar in week 7. Yeah, so that will be an opponent. important match for, yeah. Especially for Aga as well, he has to win it to get any chance to, yeah, yeah, to go to the playoffs. Yeah, well, I'm gonna take the assist and just go to Agar. Agar has started uh, very well this season, his first Oxford League season. He had two wins, but then he suffered three defeats in a row, and he's now sitting at only six points, which means he absolutely needs to win his last match. Uh, uh, and also, winning could not be enough because of uh, three people above him. Yeah. But, uh, he's got a good chance still. 
Now we move to Iron Fox. The current sitting champion. He's also at 9 points. He's gonna play me. Um, in week 7. I said I was I would like to play uh, like in a chill way, but I'm still gonna try to win because uh, Fox um, we have played two uh, twice already and has been one defeat and one draw for me, so I, I want to make it no. an even. Yeah, and also it's. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's quite yeah, important for the for the other games as well. So um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fox is also in a pretty good position. He could qualify even losing. But, uh, you know, you never know. Yeah, and of we course, have... you, you want to give your best to try to win the game. I will try to. Yeah, and uh, of course, Fox as well. Sure. Um... Also, it kind of depends on who do you, who you get from Group B, uh, depending on where you're facing. Oh yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm at this point. I'm only waiting to see who go, comes fourth in Group B. But uh, for the oh. others, it still matters where they place as well. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's so madness overall. Just that. yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get to that. We'll get to yeah, that. Yeah, and also in Group A, like uh, we have um, the, the competition never was never was better, never the the level never was higher than this year because yeah. Yeah, I feel like we have the 14 best players this year. Yeah, definitely. And, and everyone who of... will be relegated <laughs> will... <laughs> yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Actually, uh, one thing I we forgot to mention is that... Uh, um, up to the bottom, the bottom of the rankings, Machetino and Herpterp are... Machetino has four points, but he's out of the matches. Uh, he's, yeah. gonna, he's gonna rest in week six. Seven, I mean. But Herpderp can actually still uh, pass him in the ranking if he manages to win mm. against Revan. And that could be important if we decide to go for the relegation thing. We probably will, we still haven't decided. Mm. Um, and since I mentioned, what the heck just happened there? I don't know, but I don't know why you're not dead. Wow. Like, <laughs> how does how, how this survive that? <laughs> So, last person in Group uh, A, since I mentioned him, it's Revan. Uh, Revan has been kind of uh, high and downs in this in this uh, season. He, I think he alternated like one win and one defeat so far, every time. Wow, okay. Oh. <laughs> but uh, he's playing Herpterp, which technically is the easiest game, because he only, he's the only one that's playing uh, a, a player that's already out. But that doesn't mean it's gonna be super easy. Not at all. So Revan needs to just get s some points to make it make it sure through. He could qualify with losing as well, but I wouldn't risk it definitely. Ah, oh, me neither. And now we move on to Group B. Uh, so top and bottom in Group B are a little bit easier. Well, Mephisto is has dominated Group B. And he's currently sitting with five wins out of five. Meanwhile, Jax uh, is out of matches already. He has lost all of them. Uh, he wasn't that that bad as it may look like on the on the leaderboard. He still had fun. I talked with him a couple times. He's... Yeah, I still think it was um this year was a bit too high for him the level. So uh, yeah, yeah. It's just, he was uh... just slightly slightly um. Uh, below the others, but at this at this point uh, where we are at the moment, it just yeah, it just happens, yeah. Yeah. But uh, just the craziness of Group B, like there's a chance that we could have five people at tied at nine points, which is insane. <laughs> yeah. So let's start from uh, the one that's technically second right now, which is you, Castor. You have yeah, nine points. Um, I could have been uh, through already if it wasn't for the bad loss last week. And I'm playing X5, which is always I always had a hard time uh, playing against him. So yeah, you never know. <laughs> you never know. You're kind of in the same situation as Angurio. You would be qualified with just one map. Like even if you lose two one, you're mathematically in. 
But again, like yeah. you said before, like you said before, it's not ideal to just go for that because you would rather uh, get a higher spot, probably. Definitely, because yeah, the competition will be will be a bit, uh, and I think it will not really be easier. But uh, yeah. Oh, nice. How is he not? Yeah, finally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's move yeah, down but... to. Let's move down to KB. Yeah. Uh, the winner of Winter League, Winter Grunt League, well, we actually didn't mention the Mephisto won Summer League. Um, he's also on 9 points. He's a slightly uh, slightly lower score than you, but the thing that makes it very complicated for him is that he's playing Nicholas. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, not only that, if he loses with Nicholas, uh, with any result, even a 2-1, he will be below him. So... It's going to be hard to qualify for him if he, if he doesn't win. And KB is also another, one of those players that likes to take it a little chill. Which is always That's appreciated, it. of course. Oh, how do I have two of these? You, you, the, the first turn you collect are two crates with uh, one super airburst. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well... Yeah, yep. and also I felt like um, next to next to pin. Uh huh. Ah, next to pin, uh, KP is also a guy that uh, this year that wasn't really he had very very good games where he like dominated and played very well, but also had this kind of sloppy gameplay as well from time to time. Yeah, let's move to Pin on that on that matter because it's uh, as you said exactly the oh. same for Pin. He's been uh. amazing in some games and he's just been a bad day in others. He's got the same exact score as KB does, but uh, well, the problem here is that he's playing Mephisto, which hasn't given any points to anyone yet. So yeah. it's gonna be hard for him. But he can still make it without. Um... Fox yes. Leading to win, right? Yeah. On on, uh, on the other hand, the fact that he's wow, I I have never come managed on, to do that. Come on. I have <laughs> never managed to do that. Oh, I wanted to make it close to mine. Okay, so yeah, the fact that Pinstripe is playing someone has already qualified. It, that means he's if he loses, he's not giving points to anyone. That's a direct, you know. Uh, yeah. A direct opponent in qualifying. Uh, then we have Nicholas, who... I'm gonna be honest, I never expected Nicholas to be uh, still not qualified at this point. Yeah. He was definitely the, brilli the most brilliant player last year, and this group at the beginning was looking like a piece of cake for him. But uh, he got three defeats in a row after the first win, and now he's forced to win uh, with KB. Although, funny, fu funny stuff, in the complete madness that is Group B, his uh, condition is the absolute, is super easy. He just needs to win. No other condition attached. Yeah, I mean... Ah. It just goes well with Ch Nicholas's chill personality, I'm just saying. Yeah. You like to hear that, you just need to win to get in, yeah. so <laughs> that's all it takes. Uh, but yeah, I think um, on paper, after we drew the groups, it looked like Group B would be a bit easier than Group A. Um, but I guess, looking back at it, uh, that wasn't really the case. I feel like uh, both groups are absolute madness, and in both groups, the level and gameplay is so high, so you would, yeah, you need a little bit to... Yeah, to be uh, to play at the top level to qualify. Yeah. So last but not least, we have the player from San Marino, Axpi, ninety-four. Uh, now his condition is a bit more complicated because uh, his recent defeat two 0 with Nicholas uh, complicated his uh, his condition a little bit. Oh, I thought it, there was no mind there. But uh, he's gonna play you, Castor. We didn't say that. Oh, no, actually we did. Uh, he's gonna play you, and he absolutely needs to win. But uh, the interesting thing about uh, this match is that he's gonna have to make a choice. He could qualify with a 2-1 
if he beats you 2-1, but he has a better chance if he manages to get a 2-0. So, yeah, it's, awesome. it's going to be interesting, because with the pig pool system, you mm. always have to think about whether you want to go for the first two maps or not. I personally never do, unless I like the condition, like, says, I have to win 2-0. Uh. But other than that, I don't usually, I just usually distribute the picks pretty evenly. But uh, it will be interesting to see what happens in your match. Oh, that's very true. So, yeah, it's, we we figured we <laughs> what we will delay. <laughs> we figured we'll delay um, the recap uh, for this week because we we fought. We foolishly thought it would be a bit easier to recap everything after <laughs> exactly. last week. But um, things are exactly as messy as before. So yeah. Yeah. And like we said, this is probably going to be um, like a, a couple a couple days before the next the first mm. video of week seven get posted because we want to wait that all the matches at least from the same group are played before uh, revealing the results to the players and to the viewers. Yeah, I mean to be fair, like game. Uh... Oh, is it's any game that doesn't matter anything at all? No, there isn't. Okay. <laughs> no, there isn't, actually. That, that, that's a cool thing. There's no game uh, where neither of the players is involved in qualifying. Yeah, I mean, uh, that alone is just so crazy. Yeah, insane. We never had a season where both groups were that open uh, before nah, the last not week. At all. So, that's it for us. Uh, we're going to stick around maybe for a couple commentaries next week and... Let's see if I can time this perfectly for the end of this match. Yay! It is. <laughs> All right. That's it from me and Castor. See you guys next time. Bye.